Hi guys, in this video I will do a review of our 150 liter Amazon uh, seamed um, natural aquarium. So the idea behind this scape was to recreate a shallow stagnant uh, creek or a pool uh, somewhere in the Amazon region. It's not a biotope because there are fish from different countries and different regions in South America. Yes, they're all from South America, but this is uh, not exactly a biotope, but it's a Amazon styled uh, scape. Uh, I will talk a bit about the fish uh, equipment uh, and uh, the plants. This is actually a very low cost uh, energy efficient uh, scape. In terms of filtration, it only has one uh, sponge filter, a relatively large sponge fil filter, and it doesn't have any other filtration because most of the other filtration is performed by the plants, potos, and uh, uh, Brazilian moss. It has a heater. Uh, I keep the temperature at about 27 degrees in here. 26 27 degrees and it has uh, two lamps uh, one longer and one shorter uh, these are quite cheap uh, led lamps uh, no brand they work quite great for 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 this tank so there's no other equipment on this tank it's just very basic lighting uh, heating and uh, filtration sponge filter type of filtration in terms of plants uh, well, first of all, of course, we have here potos. All of this potos uh, that you see on top of the tank, it grows with, with its roots in water. Uh, there are three uh, color forms of potos. Uh, there's regular potos, uh, marble potos somewhere. I think this one, yeah, this one is marble potos. And there's gold potos. Actually, I've only recently introduced gold potos, so it's still... Uh, quite uh, small but it's growing uh, we also have here one lucky bamboo it was actually previously in a vase some somewhere in our flat but it wasn't doing uh, very well so I added it here and it started uh, to set out some fresh roots and it's most likely going to grow well uh, we also have here Amazon frog beet they don't do well in here they grow they uh, certainly are surviving but they're not uh, flourishing in here underwater we have only one type of plants this is a brazilian moss or it's also known as christmas moss and it's certainly flourishing in here you can see it just completely colonized all the driftwood and it's really um, spreading out across the tank I have here some leaf litter. This is a mixture of oak leaves and catapa leaves and I boiled oak leaves so uh, because previously I had negative experience with adding uh, leaves uh, from uh, unknown sources. In terms of population, uh, we have here a group of uh, approximately 10 black neon tetras. We have here three uh, dwarf cichlids. One of them is uh, a female of uh, Apistagramma Hongsloy. We actually had her in, in our various tanks for pro probably two and a half years or something like that. She was in a pair and her uh, partner, her, her male partner passed away like uh, probably a year and a half ago. So she was left alone. We also have here two uh, dwarf cichlids uh, from Rio Shingu. Uh, these are Crobea shinguensis. They're, they are quite um, cryptic and uh, they hide most of the time. Sometimes they pop out from among uh, the leaf litter and so on, but most of the time they try to stay uh, away from the front of the tank. They are quite rare, not only in aquarium hobby, but also in the wild, because I think they are becoming extinct. Uh, they're certainly not the most colorful uh, dwarf cichlids uh, that you can find in the market, but they're very interesting. They have lots of personality. I'm not sure if they appear. I, I know for sure that one of them is a male, but I'm not quite sure uh, about the sex of this one. All right, we also have here uh, four Corridoros duplicareos. I don't think you will be able to see them because they're hiding most of the time. And lastly, we have here one 
stunted altum angelfish. I received five of these stunted uh, altums uh, this February and sadly other four have passed away over the time and uh, uh, this is the only survivor. I have to keep it here because in our display tank where we have the rest of the altums uh, it just uh, cannot compete for food and uh, it's too weak to compete with a large fish such as uh, adult altums and discus so it stays in here. I don't know how long it's going to last. It's, it's not a very healthy stunted fish. It doesn't feed properly and uh, it just... Uh, well, it's still alive. I do 50% water changes on this tank uh, every week. And basically that's it about the maintenance. I don't really trim any of the potos or any of the plants in the tank. So it's a very low maintenance system. Uh, pH is currently at about uh, 6.0 and conductivity uh, is, uh, is um, under 50 ppm. Haven't measured uh, hardness, um, GH and KH uh, ever in this tank. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, leave your comments in the comment section. What do you think about this tank? Is it um, a successful Amazon styled uh, project or would you like me to add something else to this tank? So I'll see you in further videos.